a lot of the, the, the benefits that have accrued to the island today have really have boiled down to the fact that our problems are of less magnitude because of the actions that were taken 30, 40, 50 years ago. And I think that's important for most people to realize. Our problems would have been much, much worse today had that not happened. Now let's go back into the time machine to the 1950s and 60s. 1950s is that, that kind of long vacation period to recover from the 1930s and the 1940s. Was 100% developable. Early 70s, there were no wetlands laws. That is, you could put some a building on every square foot of Suffolk County. And by 1960, people are recovered and they're starting to kind of look about and go, hmm, maybe there are some problems we need to address. There's a great Jody Mitchell quote that says, you know, paving over paradise. The planning decisions, a lot of them were based on what could we build fastest and biggest, no matter where the best location was. Farmland was being gobbled up. A city that moves is a city that grows. You get this kind of tension between the, the political side, the scientific side, and people going, we're just trying to survive. He tried to get people to look at the bigger picture. It changed the way Suffolk County operated. He certainly had an appreciation for the environment. The most dangerous thing in this region will be the loss of institutional memory. We always had a good interaction with students and we always encouraged folks to advance their education and experience. Learning from the person who shaped literally the roads you were driving on to access the university was something else. always let the science drive his judgment. There was the federally funded 208 study and that was the first of its kind that really looked at the linkage between land use and groundwater quality. A uh, hundred, hundred studies went into that. The 208 study really brought that to everybody's attention and we began to develop uh, research programs that addressed that. Those studies and, and the ability to get to get the to get the science to get engineering, um, I'd say that's one of the most uh, important things that he did in his career. The people with the expertise to put down the recommendations so that you had the ability to back up what you said in terms of what the policy recommendation would be. You could always go back and see because we've analyzed it. Here's the data, and I think that's important. A planner uses building as a tool, as one piece of a much larger puzzle. Assuring that we had enough open space so that all of us could live comfortably together as a society, both considering our resources and just the uh, closeness of people. A planner has to balance complex forces, and that's what planning is all about. It's about balance. So he was very much an environmental scientist as well as a wonderful planner. And it was quite a challenge. Suffolk County was like this clear table that we were starting from ground zero mm -hmm. because they never did any planning. Mm -hmm. Neither okay. did most of the communities throughout the United States mm -hmm. in those days. Mm -hmm. But in any event, that's how we started.